Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to back up and restore your Ubuntu Linux files and folders and also I'm gonna be showing you how to restore the backup you took to another PC in case you change your PCs or in case you created another user. In my example, I'll be using Ubuntu 22.4, but the instructions I'm going to show you will also apply to other versions of Ubuntu. So let's start. So this here is my Ubuntu system. The first thing you need to do is to install a software called DejaDupe, and I'm going to show you how to install it. So open the terminal window. Ctrl-Alt-T on Ubuntu will open the terminal window. In the terminal window, key in this command, sudo apt update. I'm performing this command because it's always better to update the repositories before you install any software. So hit enter after you put sudo apt update and put the password for your user. And it will update the repositories now. And this is done. So now the next command will be installing the Deja Dupe software. So let me clear the screen first. And here key and sudo apt install Deja Dupe and hit enter and you see the software is being installed so now the software is installed let me close the terminal window we don't need it anymore so now the backup and restore software is installed to start it you need to go to applications and then applications key in here backup and this is the software at first start the software will launch a wizard but i'm gonna show you how to use the software without the wizard so this way you're gonna know all the options in this software. So let's click on the menu here and then let's click on preferences. First, it will ask you where you want to save the backup you take. It's always a good idea to save the backup, not on the PC directly. So this way, if the disk of the PC crashes, you'll still have access to your backup. So either save it to the cloud or to an external USB drive. In the example I'm gonna show you here, I'll be using an external USB drive. So under location here, Click on it, and here you have where the storage location and what is the folder that you want to name. So this is Google Drive in case you want to save it to the cloud. This is not the case here. Here I already inserted an 8 gigabyte USB key in my PC. Of course, insert a USB key that is equal to the volume of files you have on your PC. So here I'm going to click on storage location, and I'm going to choose my USB key. And under folder, I'm going to leave it as it is. So it took the PC name. So this is my PC name, KST Virtual Box. And then let's close the dialog box. And the next option is to choose how much time you want to keep your backups. The default setting is forever. Of course, here it will take first a full backup of your files. And then it will do incremental backups and the later backups. So here for keep backups, I don't need them to be kept forever. So I'm going to click on the drop down list and I will be choosing six months for me. Of course, here, choose the option that is suitable for you. And then the next step is to choose if you want to schedule this backup. So you have two options to schedule this backup. And this is something that I want to do and I encourage you to do also. And of course, when you schedule the backup, make sure that the USB key, if you're backing up to an external drive, is always inserted in your PC. So here I'm going to activate backup automatically and for the scheduling i'm gonna put it at daily backup so here we chose all the options for where we want to put the backup now let's choose the folders that we want to back up and the folders that we want to exclude so click on folders and here by default it will take the home folder of the logged in user and this is sufficient for me let me show you a little bit what's in the home folder so this is a home folder and it has all the files that I'll be needing for myself. So if you want to add another folder here, simply click on the plus sign and choose the folder you want. For me, I don't want to add another folder. And just under folders to backup, you have folders to ignore. And here you can add the folders that you don't want to backup. By default, the backup software, it will add trash and downloads and it will exclude them from the backup and this is fine by me of course if you want to add another folder to exclude just click on the plus sign select the folder and then click on add so let's close here the preferences and now let's perform the first backup click on create my first backup and this way you're gonna force the backup to start without waiting for the schedule to kick in click on forward 
and here it took the storage location click on forward and at this screen here it will ask you if you want to protect your backup with a password i encourage you to do this so this way if you lose your external drive or your usb key no one can access your files so let's put a password of course you can also choose not to put a password if you select this option but for me i'm gonna put a password so here I'm gonna select also remember password so that this password will be remembered on this PC. And let's click on forward. And now the backup is being performed and it will back up everything under my home folder. And now the backup is finished. So let me here add another folder to show you how I'm gonna be performing another backup and when you restore, how you can choose what backup you can restore. So let's add another folder very quickly here. And let me add also a file in this folder. So let's perform another backup now. So now we have two backups, one that contains this desktop without this folder and the second one, it contains this folder and everything before. So let me show you now how to restore a folder. So let me delete the second folder that I just created. And remember that we backed it up. So now I deleted it. So always in the backup software here, click on restore. And you notice here on the bottom you have date and this will show you all the backups that you have on this external media. So we have two backups. The first backup we took it didn't include the folder that we just created because it wasn't created yet. So if we select it and we go to desktop, you see it doesn't include the folder here. So let's select the newest backup. And now let's go to desktop and notice that the second folder is here now. So to restore it, click on it and then click on restore. Before restoring it, I'm going to show you also you can go more granular. So if you double click on it, you can restore even the file only in it or choose the files if it had many files. So let me go back here and I'm going to restore all the folders. So select it and then click on restore. And here it will give you the option to restore it to its original location, which was on the desktop or to another folder. And it's important here to know that if you still had the folder on the desktop and it has files that also exist in the backup the files will be overwritten even if they are newer without any prompt so this is the case where you want to for instance select restore to a specific folder and here you can select where you want to restore the backup but here i'm gonna restore it to its original location so i'm gonna keep restore files to original location selected and then i'm gonna click on restore and it didn't ask me the password because we're still on the same PC logged in with the same user where we selected remember password. And I'm going to show you now how to restore this backup to another PC, a new PC, and how it will ask us for the password. So now let's click on close and you see the folder was restored here. And this is the folder and this is the file in it. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to restore this backup to another PC so I'm gonna launch another PC with a new user that is not now the user that I'm using is KST so the new PC will be logged in with the user called KS Tech and I'm gonna show you how to restore the backup to this PC so this is a new user here and you notice that we don't have anything on the desktop here the first thing you need to do here is to make sure that the backup software Deja Dupe is installed and I'm not going to show you once again how to install it. You can go back to the beginning of this video to see how to install it. And the second thing is to insert the USB key. So let me insert it. And here's USB key inserted. And now let's launch the backup software. So go to applications and you can also find it under utilities if you don't want to type it here. So let's click utilities and this is the backup software. And because this is a new PC and a new user, it is asking me to configure it. Of course, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to click on restore from a previous backup. And the backup location is USB backup. And the folder here, you need to put the folder that you created in the first PC. And to get this folder name, simply open the USB key. And here you see that the folder name is KST VirtualBox. So let's copy this. To copy it, right click on it. 
and then click on rename and then right click here copy and click anywhere to remove the rename and let's minimize this and let's put it here so i selected everything right click and then paste and now you can click on search so this way it will search this backup and you see here that because the backup is encrypted you need to enter the password that you put when you done the backup so i'm gonna enter the password and let's click on continue and now it will show you the backups that we had so let's select the latest one and i'm gonna restore all the desktop so i'm gonna click on desktop and then i'm gonna click on restore so let me bring the camera a little bit up because i think it will restore them here so let's click on restore and it will ask you for the password once again so put the password and then click on forward and this is the restoring taking place and these are the restored folders so let me put everything on the top left here so let's see the second folder it has a file in it and the test restore also has a file in it don't hesitate to leave me your comments or your questions in the section below and i'll be glad to answer all your comments and all your questions i hope that you found this video useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly and this way you'll not miss any future videos i make i'm eloy until next time